Hello guys and welcome to episode 81 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as Iggy Claw leading Clan Scryer to world domination. Today we're going to be starting off by moving Toxidon. Hopefully we'll take out Lacqua today. We're going to be heading towards the Pools of Despair. But previously uh, we did manage to wipe out Teclis and the Order of Lawmasters which was really nice. And yeah, we're, now we're moving on after taking out Kalexorn towards Castle Bar as well. But yeah, with loads of stuff still to do. Um, we are getting close to the world domination, but I still think it's like a good few episodes away. Uh, just because there are, well, there's a lot of ground to cover. I think that's probably the, the biggest thing. And whilst we're sort of moving around, we have to upgrade the settlements and so on. So yeah, that's what's going to take some time. We're not currently at war with the Sentinels, but I'm kind of tempted to do so. Probably best to let Roman Mute fully replenish before we do anything, so I might just leave him here, honestly. Put him in in camp starts just to make sure that they're all maxed out, and we'll level them up. Let's do Evasion. He actually leveled up twice. Here we get to the 13th as well, then. Alright, I'll assess of Cripple Peak. He can jump pretty far if we use Underway. But I'm a little concerned that there's something at the Misty Mountain. I'm going to jump into friendly territory over here. Alright, there is an army here, but it's not big enough to kill us. That's fine. I jumped him over there into friendly territory. Actually, that's friendly territory there as well. But that's a bit too close for comfort. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's carry on. Warp attack. He can kill off this army of Lakua. Goodbye. Thank you for the food. And now it is time to head towards Zandri. One on the water there, just because it gives a little bit more movement range. Over to Momo. Momo's still just trying to get away from these guys. Every turn, I'm trying to get a peace treaty. Come on, we can't be that far off. I'm going to jump into, or close to, Slanhir Pack. I'm going to keep maxing this out. And getting walls up. Because there are going to be armies coming at us. Although it doesn't really matter. I could probably just let them take the armies. Or take the uh, settlements. And then just go and colonize Blood Swamp with that Skaven Slave Army. Yeah, we could do that. Because we're going to confederate them eventually anyway. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, Acorn. Can take Blade Master or Blade Shield. It's fine. Anything else to do? Snitch. So Snitch is another army up north that probably wants to head south now because there is two armies here, two armies here. Like there is like too many settlements here for those guys to matter. So we'll just or not enough settlements there. Sorry <laughs> for that to matter. So we'll just start heading him south. I oh, will take out this army while we're there. Not yet. Wait. I want us to be the only remaining faction left on the map at the end. So that includes killing all of the uh, rogue armies. Keep jumping over towards Malekith here. Keep hitting Nagarond with successful agent actions so we can grab some more warp fuel. Unfortunately, we didn't that time around. Uh, Wolpatek's going to be carrying on down here. Mormor's on the water now. Sap Spark still moving down. Uh, Remember, mute yourself is going to carry on across. And Mechanic kind of Gear can move across as well. 
Gotta try and pay attention to where there are any armies. Can be done in one turn. Still waiting for all of those to finish. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. Here we're going to go straight into explosive planning because the public order is not that low. Over here, probably going to do the same. Hellspire Mountains, we'll do public order for now. Actually, no, let's do explosive planning. I really need to push the escape and corruption up ASAP. Get the construction cabin in there. Let's see what we have to build. It's pretty low on public order, but it should be okay. Great Desert. Well, Alayed can go ahead and put some the beginning of walls in there. Uh, let's just do public order here, and then I can change this to explosive planning. Uh, where is Iron Spike? Over here. Let's just put the Iron Mining Pit in there for even more income, unless something else gives me more. No, that will give us the most need to trade, although trade won't really matter soon enough. Okay, over to the Black Flood. A grief, we can put that in there. Need public order building. Okay, Forest of Arden. Very there as well. These may as well upgrade. Albion's good to go. Alright, Caracas Gal. That needs walls. And probably the public order building. Put a weapon dump in there as well. Okay. Well, <laughs> looks like that's it. <laughs> I was going to click on the uh, next element upgrade, but on to the next turn we go. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone left on the map that's strong. I thought Nagaron was going to be a little bit of a problem. I guess they kind of were. Like, going through Norsk is always a pain in the ass. But, in the end, it doesn't really matter. Malakis done a runner. I'm just hoping that Clan Pestilence just expands as much as they want to. And that's it. Just confederate them. Finish off the last of the Lizardmen. And the Team Kings. The Team Kings might be quite annoying to, to kill. I will let them have that. And yeah, the Team Kings won't be quite hard to kill because their units don't run away. They just keep fighting until they die, which is kind of annoying for, a, for an army that relies on ranged damage because they're just going to keep running at you regardless of how much fight. damage they're taking you will gain no nothing. they're going to declare war on us okay they're not very strong hmm. let's just get the Eshin Stalker reward the Craven and Bray Herds Okay. 
Bit of a random time for Brayheads. Okay, we can finish our turn in Leonice, so I'll do that this turn. And we'll recruit. Let's see. Really isn't many very good options, is there? And maybe just night runners to fill out the army. Let the bell scream, scream. Olsess is going to jump on the water. We'll go see what's at the sea corpse. Probably a battle though, yeah. It's fine. I'm going to transform. Transform can take Spite Reach. Lovely. You just want to do as much damage as quickly as possible to the Dark Elves here. Take away all their income. And they won't rebuild as big armies. He got the level up. Let's do Tail Weapon for now. Give me a little bit better in melee. Looks like Transform also leveled up. Give him Sneaky. Down to Arcstorm. Okay. Uh, let's see. I feel like this is going to be a bit difficult. I mean, I can move up here and I can set an ambush maybe. Oh, okay. There's an army in our way. Okay. <laughs> That's a, an interesting army. We'll hit the Wellsprings of Eternity. It's going to be interesting as well. Yeah, these two armies, we'll have to play them out. Uh, is this in range to back us up? No, but we'll have him head down as well. Alright, let's do it. What stance was he in? Astromancy? Ambush defense chance increase. Campaign line of sight increase. Vanguard deployment. Okay. Hopefully the map's relatively flat. Looks okay, but it's kind of sometimes it's really hard to tell from the contours because the contours aren't really done properly. Sometimes it's be very steep. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this is this is fine. All right, let's start deployment. This is going to be a pretty difficult battle, I feel, because these beasts oh, have tons of HP. I'm going to have to try and kill them with my lord. My warlock engineer can stand in the middle of all these and provide the boosts. Probably best to have my uh, rattling guns behind, actually, the Skaven Slaves. I might want to try and hold these dudes at a distance. I'm going to put these Night Runners onto... Well, and the Slingers. The Slingers actually should probably be behind. The rest of them can be up in front. Put them on skirmish. Right, we're going to want to shoot the Bastilodons, or actually probably the Segadons first. And yeah, the Warblock to Zales can hit the Feral Carnosaur. As for the Plague of Catapults, I have no idea. I mean, they can fire up whatever they want, really. OK, 
Okay. Let's hit the next staggered on there. I'm actually doing a decent damage there. I'm not going to actually let these finish off the ones we've already shot at. Hmm. I said it was going to be hard, but it looks like this might be relatively easy in the end. Because as long as these units can just stop them from running through, it could be fine. <laughs> the lead is pretty much dead. Blimey. That was much more one-sided than I thought it would be. But now we just gotta kill them off. <laughs> okay then. I thought they would just like get into my lines and start doing a lot of damage, but uh, I guess they're just low tier dinosaurs. The only one that's fast enough really to do any damage was the carnosaur and we took him out first, so yeah, it wasn't too bad. Alright, take the food okay. from that. And we'll move down here. I'm going to go into ambush stance. Hopefully we have... Yeah, we've got 100% ambush chance. <laughs> okay. Up to Brom. An easy take. Thank you very much. And all of these settlements are ours. I'm actually going to upgrade Beyond Needs Gathering first because that will allow us to get the public order building. Good. The Plague Priest can grab Tenacity. Some extra health. Good. Let the bell. Better rest moving down. Dretch. Master engineer. I could have him maybe move towards the Misty Mountain. We're just gonna underway him over there here though, to avoid the attrition. I think Misty Mountain will be fine to take. Yep, easy battle. Lovely. Take that. Thank you very much. That finishes off this province as well. So let's not waste the surplus there. Let's get Karakazgal upgraded. So we are demolishing these armies that are left over. Pick up scouting. Good point, actually. I didn't equip Toxigen, did I? Ah, uh, physical resistance probably best. The Talisman of Endurance is nice. Potion of Toughness is good. And... What spell?
Uh, probably wouldn't have jet. Oh dear. Put the growth in there. Campaign map movement range. Nothing else. Income from all buildings, that'll do. I'll probably give the charge bonuses to the help of abominations and maybe the assassin. Alright, let's get this. I do want to kind of keep up with the Crooked Moon, so we're just going to head over here. Also, I'm going to look for an opportunity to attack the, well, the Tomb Kings. They got Kemri. Well, Tretchen is amazing campaign at my range. We'll occupy that. Thank you very much. We got 120. That uses 140. Okay. I have to upgrade these. Yeah, I'm not sure it's really worth waiting for that. Uh, maybe we will. It's fine. Take Harkaldra this turn. Since it's in range. Another one taken. And he can level up. Just do construction engineer. We'll move on to Ashrak from there. Maybe we could build one here, but maybe not at Dagrak's end. Yeah, because this should be fine. Like next turn, I can start building up the Vermintide building, but over here, I think we just split it off and take them all. Be way quicker. In the bottom right, it might work. Down here. Let's have Brom just start jumping across the mountains. And Triven is good to go, so I guess we head towards Kasabar. I'm a little concerned about going further than that. I probably want to just wait here. I'm going to go into Amish Stance actually. And then we'll have a look and see what's going on. Next turn. Uh, Ichabalt's ready to go. I could come down and take Chupiotol, uh, but I'm not sure how close uh, Clan Pestilence is. Also, it might just be worth letting Clan Pestilence uh, take all of this land. Because they are really starting to like us. Bring me tribute gifts, and Pestilence is at your service. Uh, we could go for the Vampire Coast with Iqbalt. Or we could head the armies over here, but I don't think we need more armies over here because we've got the two, like Liv and Acorn. And then we've also got Arkstorm. But between those three, we can destroy the Sentinel Zeti and also the these uh, dwarves for sure. So I could maybe actually send a Iqbal over to attack the followers of Nagash. Possibly. Okay, that's them dead. <laughs> they were recruiting another army there. I'll take that, thank you very much. I think we're just about beating 
Kemri to the punch every time. Knows who his boss is. Pestilent birth as well. Yeah, so I still need to decide what to do with him. We'll grab this treasure. Let's just loot it. Take that. Thank you very much. I could take blood swamps. I was going to do that with Mormal though. I can't knock to this, might do it himself. Alright, let's go take it with Iqbal then. Oh, we can't. Right, we'll stay on the water because that gives us a replenishment at least. Uh, over to Toxidon. Is he in range to attack the Falls of Despair? Nope, not quite. Let's move over to friendly territory. Snitch. Snitch is going to jump on land. And we're going to go for this army soon. The stitch is going to be zooming on the water over towards bedrock. Didn't actually fully replenish. It's not good. Should have paid attention to that. My dynasty reigns supreme. Gonna start trespassing over in Kemri. Get my armies into position to wipe them out. I think that's most of my armies moved though. That's good. So there technology there. That's good, that gave us more warp fuel. We can build another Doom Rocket. And I'm probably gonna spend the other warp fuel on an upgrade. Ickets flayers are best. So I'd do some Doom Flare ones. Dicey death. Passive ability, Warpstone detonation for all characters on Doom Flare mounts. Randomly cast Warp Lightning in melee combat. Interesting. That's cool. Gonna do the spike armor plate, extra ward save and melee defense. Oh, some ward saves. Pretty big upgrade. No elf better than Ah, uh, let's see. Bachefen can upgrade. From down here. Upgrade some of this stuff. Nothing's Wildred Mountains should be fine actually. This free public order. Let's change this to explosive planning. Throw my upgrades around. Rick Railing Moot upgraded, that will allow us to get the public order building there as well. Uh, do I need it here? Probably not. Let's just start building up walls there. Star Tower needs public order building. Get all of them leveled up. Do I need another Taskmaster platform? Probably not. Start building walls there. The desolation of Nagash. <laughs> Look how many buildings we have building there in Garon. That's nuts. Definitely want that building, that building, and this. Cool.
got to the point where I really don't care what I'm building, I'm just upgrading everything. And I have certain things that I want to build, like the construction caverns and their upgrades. So that'll do. Everyone's moved. Move on. Guess all my agents are moving themselves. The ones I forgot to move at least. It's fine. Many, many kills today. <laughs> Most of them have their orders. Means I don't have to click around the map doing it myself. Alright, here we go. Last vendors didn't do anything. Like where I didn't do anything. Nagarond. Most of their armies are getting killed as soon as they're getting built, so I think this one is pretty much the only one they've got. Oh, they might attack Alicia actually. Yeah, that could be something they do. Okay, that's a pain. Are we building the bomb at Galleon's graveyard yet? Really should do that. Oh, nice. I didn't realize they're still at war. Like, Kemri and... Well, Kemri declared war on the Sentinels. The followers of Nagash and uh, Kemri start at war. So... It looks like they're still at war after all this time. Crazy. It would be a good time to attack Kemri. Oh, we're under attack. Okay, this is a good thing. Uh, this gives me a chance to kill them off outside the settlement. So, yeah. This will be the end of the Spine of Sotek Dwarves. We have quite a lot of uh, these support specialist dudes, but Arcstorm's pretty damn good at wiping out enemy agents. Just going to have to cut down on the Slayers early on, and then they have a lot of range forces, so it uh, should be fine. Just gonna grab an extra menace below or two so we can deal with the artillery in good time. Let's have a look at the map quick. Alright, let's jump on in. Hopefully the map's not too awkward. Looks like those rocks are gonna get in the way. I need open range really to take down this army. If the slayers get too close then it's gonna cause issues. Alright, let's deploy all the way over here. I don't want to be in that hole. Not good. I'll spread these out a little bit. Now, ready, now. Warp lightning cannon. It'll be best to switch these round. Okay. Um, the initial army is quite big, isn't it? I'm not sure if they'll deploy back with their reinforcements, though. They might do. Warlock Engineer can cover all of those. And the Rattling Guns. Then we're going to want to put these spread out. Okay, let's start the deployment, start the battle. Yeah, they started all the way back. That's fine. Especially good for us. going to start coming towards us and I'm going to start dropping my clan rats onto their artillery. Might just start doing it now. I might be able to pull them off their artillery. No. 
Oh, they're actually firing into their own dudes, so that's cool. Happy with them doing that. Well, that certainly distracted them <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, let's see, we need to make sure we are shooting these giant slayers. Kill them off, please. And we're going to want to probably kill off... Uh, let's target these giant slayers up here. Charging us pretty hard and fast. This isn't good. I can't get line of sight on those guys very easily. We killed one unit. Let's get my assassin to move forwards and engage this guy. On the right, I feel like these slayers are just gonna chew up my dudes. Get engaged on this side. And then I'm gonna wanna start to hit their ranged forces. Doing here. Let's use all of his abilities. Aim to kill their lord. Oh no, they're gonna get away. Pull them back in. These guys need to fall back. Oh, mate, we've nearly killed their lord. That's a that's a start. Yeah. I need to take out this guy. Uh, where are my random guns? Oh, they're doing their thing. Honestly, we can probably engage the runesmiths. I my ancient sorcerer ammo and my other lord here, my warlock engineer, are actually relatively decent in melee. Those slayers. Okay, we didn't even end up killing the uh, bolt throwers, did we? <laughs> Somehow, my catapults are still firing. I guess my front line kind of did its job. Rattling gun. Not 
target! Clan rats! I'm hung rat! Guide us for everyone. A bit close, isn't it? Let's just pull, try and pull away if we can. Oh, never mind, doesn't matter. I think that is army losses. Yeah. Alright. Well, we took a lot of damage, but everything that was important survived. So, you know, classic Skaven battle again. My warp lightning cannons actually almost used all of their ammunition. <laughs> now that is pretty ridiculous. I love the way the Lords just ignored that. <laughs> no fucks were given this day, they just run through it. That guy, please kill off the next one. I'm gonna target the one with more health. My assassin is so good. Kill him. Very, very good. Well, we took a lot of losses, but. That's going to pretty much mean that the Spinosotic Doors are dead. Saying that, I am going to have to recruit some more forces before I attack them, because they'll probably have walls in their settlement. Like, I think it's a major settlement, so they'll, they'll definitely be walls, and we don't really have any forces to hold down theirs. I mean, maybe between my assassin I could do it, but I don't know. We're going to enslave them. Gone back into Hurlatol. I don't know how they managed to see the ambush, actually. That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point. Like, wasn't I on a 100% ambush chance there? <laughs> Oh well. Uh, looks like the Beastmen are asking to join against Nagaron. Sure, why not? Alright, this is to my mistake. Killed all of those. Fantastic. Alright, back to the Kiklaw. Nicky Claw is zooming over here. Enemies to trap. I don't know why that was being weird. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're gonna head over here. Now we're right next to that black arc, we should be able to kill it. Looks like the beastmen destroyed the Palace of Princes already. It's handy. We'll head down to Shagrath with Tretch. Master Engineer. Right, let's go take Quark with Infectique. Thank you very much. There will be consequences. And we're now going to take Grond with Transform. Ooh, this has upgrades on their walls. 
greater, greater fireballs. Ouch. What would the battle look like if we were to play it out? Oh, it's this map. Okay, this would be relatively easy. We'll probably play that out then. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we'll hit Grand. Uh, we're going to have to take the Great Arena. Uh, they are starting to build up in Nagarond again. Uh, we've got nine turns until that blows up, though. Uh, over here at the Gallon's Graveyard, uh, we haven't actually started blowing that up yet. So I should probably start doing that. Uh, but otherwise, things are looking good. We are annihilating Nagarond very, very fast indeed. And we will be collapsing in on them here. That'd be nice. Uh, we can start building up the uh, army here at Iron Frost as well. I'll pop out in another five turns. Cool. Alright, but that's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,